If, I, if, if, if I'm wearing this and somebody else is wearing this, we automatically brothers. It's an automatic family status. You, you can be on the wrong side of it, but generally you'll be on the right side of it. My name's Mark Otto. Uh, my name is Stephen Jacobs, AKA Logie. I'm the president of Cobalt Bronx, MCC. We are seven members with one appy. We've got six key holders, and then uh, we've got everybody else's wives participating in the club as well. I've been biking six years now. I've been biking now so just over 20 years, 25 years. The reason for that is basically um, it grows onto you. Well, I always loved bikes. Bikes give you freedom. So it, it was just a natural progression. Once we got old enough to actually afford bikes, we could then start biking. It is something, once you get involved into it, it is something that don't really just fades away. It just sticks to you. Even if you skip a couple of years, it will always burn inside of you just to get back in it. You know? My club means to me is, is safety, is family, is friendship. It's everything that biking is, just on a smaller scale. When I established the club, it was basically the passion and try to get away from the normal, I will put it like this, the normal club life, where uh, men are only involved. I tried to introduce all the members' wives in the club as well. The biggest misconception is that we are not law-abiding. Being drunken, being uh, lawless, um, you know, everybody just go out for partying, raving. It's like uh, every weekend is like a holiday type of thing. But uh, as far as biking is concerned and you really get involved into it, you'll discover that it's more safety orientated, family, you know, because uh, the, con uh, the misconception of biking being like Root, rootless people, don't care and so forth, which is very untrue. Within the biking fraternity there are different authorities. In the Western Cape you have Mork, up in Joburg you have the Joburg Council, the Rambo Council, all those guys. So you get, as well in the Western Cape you get the, the President's Council, which, which we belong to. So the, the, there are the two and they both work hand in hand. The Mork is more of a, a group of, of clubs that try and do everything together legally, whereas the President's Council governs over everybody in the Western Cape. What the MAWC does, it gives more a sense of stability. It gives a lot of clubs that are members. What happens is that uh, they will organize sponsorship or discount for any biker associating with the MAWC who are members. Uh, they sponsor normally for uh, first aid classes, riding skills. So whatever they offer, it is available for the members. We have a, a, a program, a charity program that we do help called Joven, the Joven House in Mitchell's Plain, where we, we assist the guys on a monthly basis. We try and go visit the kids. Um, we also, when we do, do events, it's all for charity. So we, we pick and choose where we, where we tend to go depending on charity. We do uh, charity work as well for the disadvantaged groups. We normally attend to help out uh, some police, private detectives, uh, um, um, where they actually ask us or the club if we can, if we can sponsor uh, or donate, which is food, clothing, toys. So we keep on doing that at a regular basis. What I discovered is, over the years, it's a small, with a club for example, it forms unity. You'll find that if you're on the road and you're a biker and you get stuck, any biker will stop for you to assist. 
We treat each and every biker that we meet the same. Speak the same language, interact, you know. <laughs> Best thing about biking is the freedom to do what you want. It's, it's a symbol of, of, of brotherhood, of, of a standing in a crowd, people know who you are. It's, it's a sign of recognition, it's a sign of trust. <laughs>